This is Richard Allen at the University of Iowa. This video demonstrates evaluation and treatment of a patient with lacrimal dysgenesis. The patient has bilateral absence of the upper puncta. The upper and lower lid are inspected. There appears to be a punctum on the lower lid on each side, but not one on the upper eyelid. A punctal dilator is then used to dilate the lower punctum. A Bowman probe is then used to evaluate the canaliculus where a hard stop is appreciated. The same procedure is performed on the opposite side. Fluorescein is then injected through the system which appears to be patent. This is demonstrated with fluorescein in the nose. It is determined that the upper eyelid will then be investigated to see if there is any remnant of a canaliculus. A cut down is performed medial to where the punctum should be on the upper eyelid with Westcott scissors. The area is then carefully inspected to see if there is any remnant of a canaliculus. None is seen, so a pigtail probe is used to see if the canaliculus can be identified retrograde. On the right side, none can be identified. Attention is then directed to the left side where the same procedures are performed. In this patient, no remnant of a canaliculus can be discerned on either upper eyelid. It is determined that a monocanalicular stent will be placed through the lacrimal system. The probe is placed through the lower canaliculus and down the nasal lacrimal duct. The probe is then retrieved from the nose with a groove director. This probe does not have an alum tip on the end of it. The upper punctal plug on the stent is then situated into the punctum securely. The same is then performed on the opposite side. The canaliculus is palpated and a hard stop is notified. The probe is then placed down the nasolacmal duct and retrieved from the nose. The monocanalicular stent is then placed so that it is secure in the punctum. The upper eyelid cut downs are then closed as one would close an eyelid margin laceration. This is performed with 6 0 vicral sutures at the edges of the tarsus followed by 7-0 vicral sutures at the lid margin placed in a vertical mattress fashion. At the conclusion of the case, erythromycin ophthalmic ointment will be placed over the incisions. The stents will be shortened and the patient will return in approximately four months for stent removal.